Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So on the roundabout, I've got another Lesney Resto. Now this one I do not have in my collection. So this is going to be a one for one. I don't have a fleet of these. I don't have doubles. So this is going to go right on my display shelf when I'm done. So uh, I don't remember where I got this. Obviously it's from probably a... Uh, a, a lot on eBay just thrown in there. So anyway, this here is the Ford Thunderbird made in England by Lesney and number 75. So this will go on the very end of my casting, of my castings. I, I uh, recently put them all in numerical order according to the big book. So anyway, uh, speaking of the big book, let's break it out and see what this thing originally looked up, looked like. All right, stick around. All right, so here is the Ford Thunderbird. This is the A5 version. So it looks like that is a really cool color scheme. I'm not a big fan of two tones, but in this case, I can't avoid it. So this does not look like that. Luckily, there's some distinct marks to separate the two tone, as this person tried to do. And look at that. Boy, this is this is going to be really fun because I'm going to just make it look like it's original. So anyway, there's that. Let's see if there's any variations. So anyway, here we go, number 75, the very end. So 1960. Wow, that's an old one. So it looks like they're all cream and pink body. Black base, blue-green base, dark blue base, black base, and black base. So we've got five variations the one on the picture is a5 that's the 500 hundred dollar one i'm not gonna do that because that i know it's not worth that uh, i don't know how on earth i would paint a blue green base hopefully when i take it apart it'll reveal the base it's probably just the cheap one here so anyway so i gotta figure out if i can see any original detail on it all right, folks, uh, let's have a good time. Stick around. All right, so let's see what we're working with on the Thunderbird. So it looks like uh, we have the blue base. So we got that figured out. And let's take it out. Should just pop right out. There we go. And, oh, look at that. That came off. Well, that will make my life easier. So let's check out the wheels. It looks like gray or silver. Almost looks like silver. So there's that. Oh, there we go. Remnants of an inhabitant. So there's that. The blue base. So, looking in the big book, so we have a, oh, we only have one option, the dark blue base. So those are silver wheels. So we have vari uh, variation number three, cream and pink body, dark blue base, and silver plastic wheels. So I'm going to circle that in my book so I know exactly which one I'm dealing with. So the version of A3. So this one is 125 to 150 bucks. The cheaper of the five variations, I figure I can, I don't ever get those expensive ones. So there you go, dark blue base, silver plastic wheels. All right, just drill out that windshield and we'll be on our way. Stick around. All right, here's an update on my Thunderbird. So the window unit was actually just in there with paint that had dried and so many years of it, it practically was glued to it. So I just poured brake fluid down the sides of it 
and eventually that ate away the paint and then I took my exacto knife and just kind of very carefully uh, went between the frame and the window unit and it eventually popped out so I'm gonna plop this and some brake and some brake fluid and the tires get them back to their original glory there you go let that soak for a while thread a couple holes and then I'll be ready for the stripper alright folks see you at the next stage alright here's an update on my Thunderbird so let's take a look at this detail there we go definitely has some good detail I did notice a little flaw here you can see that this right here is bent that there I don't know if it's from the factory or if it was damaged I have to sort that out there's the chassis and this was full of yellow paint so I took some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna just see if I can buff everything out and polish it and the tires were full of paint too so here they are they are silver I need to keep uh, chipping at that yellow paint or I might just uh, paint them silver or both all right folks so let's have some more fun stick around all right folks I am getting ready to assemble the Thunderbird so stick around for the final reveal All right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started it with. You know, a very cool uh, Ford Thunderbird with an orange and black combination and a little detail on the taillights. All right, let's see where I ended up. All right, folks, it is time for my reveal for my Matchbox Lesney number 75 Ford Thunderbird. Man, this one gave me a run for my money, boy. It was pretty difficult. The window unit was just saturated and coated in paint. So it was really hard to get out. And it was hard to get the paint off. But anyway, and the cream's kind of hard to work with too. But anyway, I ended up using a lot of brake fluid to get the paint off. And then I used uh, sandpaper and... I think I started off with like 300 grit and worked my way up to 2,000. So just a slow and steady process. So let me know what you think of it. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And stay tuned for more Restos. Uh, next weekend I've got the uh, Citroen coming out. That one was actually a pretty easy one. I wanted to do something that was easy. Because uh, this one gave me a run for my money, like I said. So anyway, all right. So stay safe and thanks for watching. That's all, folks.